This is the guide you need to get started playing your guitar into your computer, unlocking an entirely new and exciting world of creativity and possibility. I make a lot of amp sim or virtual amplifier demonstrations here on the channel. And while lots of dudes are already using amp sims and have already crossed the initial hurdles of figuring out those very first steps when it comes to using your computer as an amp and recording ideas, I've realized that there are tons of you out there who are still stuck on or are hesitant to get started with that very first step you must take, which is figuring out how to connect your guitar to your computer. And for that, you need an interface and an amp sim. And that's it. Well, and a computer. But quickly, for those who don't know, an audio interface is the hardware that connects your guitar, microphones, and other audio gear to your computer. A typical audio interface converts analog signals into the digital audio information that your computer can process. So to teach you how to get started, I wanted to start from scratch. I wanted to purchase a brand new interface and an amp sim and set them up together as if I was doing it for the very first time so that you could follow along step by step and see just how super easy it is. Sweetwater has a few great articles on how to choose the right interface, and I'll link those for you in the description below if you'd like to check them out. There are many great and inexpensive audio interfaces to choose from, and I chose the Universal Audio Bolt 2. It's only 189 bucks, and I'm confident it's going to be a fantastic little unit that will do everything I needed to do. You can even get the Volt 1 for only 139 bucks, and that's really all you need. The difference is that the Volt 1 has one input and the Volt 2 has two inputs, and the inputs are what you use to connect your instruments and microphones. I chose the Volt 2 just to kind of future-proof things for myself because having two inputs can be handy if you ever want to plug in two things at the same time, like uh, your guitar and a microphone. Or if you want to set up two microphones over a drum kit to capture a wide stereo image, or maybe you want to conduct a podcast or interview and you need two microphones, one for you and one for your guest. Anyway, I've trusted the Universal Audio stuff for years. The quality is next level and the UA brand has always stood out amongst the crowd. So I ordered my Volt 2 from Sweetwater and it showed up on my doorstep two days later. And here it is. The Universal Audio Volt 2. Let's take a gander. Awesome. Very cool looking. MIDI control if you need it. Two monitor outputs plus a headphone output. You know, for the best sound with amp sims, you're going to want to use uh, like headphones or studio monitors. But um, I'm hoping that we won't even need to. I'm hoping that we'll be able to just hear our sound right from our computer. Okay, so depending on your connection, my MacBook just has USB-C like this, which could plug in, but I need that to plug in here. And I happen to have a converter. So I guess I lied. <laughs> if you have a computer set up like mine, only USB-C, you'll need this little converter from USB-A to USB-C. So we're gonna do that. I think these things are like 15 bucks on apple.com or Amazon, something like that. Or if you just have regular USB on your computer, then you'll be good to go. This is a power supply. If you're not gonna run it bus powered, meaning this can just be powered by your computer, no need for any additional power. All right, but before we connect it, check this out. So, the moment I placed my order with Sweetwater, I started receiving information that I could go through about setting up the Volt before I even received the Volt. So that was nice. I got to see what we we're going to do. So first step, register the interface. Log into your account or create one if you haven't already. So you can just click this login. You'll go to universalaudio.com. I've already got one here. It says go to the software download page and download the latest version of UA Connect for your operating system. Well, let's do that. Download. I'm going to go to Volt. And then we're going to do Mac OS. Wow. I'm going to go back to this real quick, though. Launch the UA Connect app and connect the Volt to your computer. 
and then follow the on-screen instructions to complete the registration process. Okay, so let's launch the software. Okay. Then we can, yeah. Okay, so just got to this screen here, which when I go back here, it tells me to launch the UA Connect app and then connect the bolt. So I'm gonna connect the bolt and see what happens then. I don't think there's like a power, but oh, power on. Okay, we're gonna allow that. Okay, there we go. Blue light, that's cool. Okay, here we go. So it popped up. Volt 2, good. Register your Volt to redeem your free bundled software. Activate your software on the computer. Okay, register. Okay, firmware up to date, good. Get your free UA plugins. Getting started with Volt. Oh, here's some videos. Okay, show more. Uh, so I can, it comes with all this software. So like amp if you need it, vocal tuning stuff, verbs, a bass amp, virtual drummer, virtual bassist. Dude, awesome. Tons of samples. So it comes with all this stuff. I'm not interested in downloading any of that right now for the purposes of this video. We're just gonna give this a try. Um, I'm gonna plug into this right now. I mean, it was that simple, literally. And that took like two minutes. Uh, I'm gonna plug a guitar in and just try to get some, some signal. I know there won't be any at first, but uh, we can't determine that until we're plugged in, right? Going into input one. Okay. I'm gonna guess that this is input one here. We got gain, vintage. We do have an instrument plugged in, so we wanna plug, we want it to be instrument. Otherwise, it would be looking for a mic level signal. We don't need phantom power, host direct, um, hmm. we'll figure out what that is. I'm just gonna turn our monitor up and give ourselves just, just so we can see if we're getting any sort of signal here. I'm just gonna turn all those up. All right. Okay, we're getting something. See that? That means it's getting signal. It looks like maybe it's clipping a little bit. I can turn that down. Getting signal. Red is probably that it's clipping. Yep. So that's too hot. I don't even know if we'll, we'll figure out that once we start hearing something. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a little bit. Not hearing anything. Let me just plug in headphones real quick and just see if I'm hearing any direct signal. Okay, here we go. I am not hearing anything. Oh, there we go. Okay, so turning that blue, I hear both. I hear it nice and clear, everything. So I am hearing it through the headphones. I know you can't hear that right now. You know what? Just so you can hear what this sounds like without an amp sim, let's actually plug it in. Just need a guitar cable, bro. Just gonna go one of these here, and then we'll go. And there we go. You guys can hear that, right? So you see, it's just a direct dry signal. And um, running through my monitors right now, just with one cable. And it's also come through the headphones. Yep, so that shows you that you can have two signals going or uh, monitors and headphones simultaneously if you so choose. But let's get rid of these for right now. Okay, next step, we've got all that ready to go. The next step is an amp sim. So the quickest and best sounding, most friction free way is with the Bogan Digital amp knobs. I have 
a video on each one of these right here. Um, and if you buy this bundle, it comes with three of them. You don't have to buy it though. So don't let that scare you off yet. We're just going to do the free trial and it's 14 days, full functionality. Um, you get three to choose from, or you can just do them by the single or whatever, but, uh, let's check these out. As I was saying, I have a video on each one of these. Um, if you'd like to hear how they each sound individually, but you're about to hear one right now. I think we're going to go with this BDH3, but uh, let's just try this here. So that was Bogren Digital. Sorry, I, I kind of skipped over this. This is bogrendigital.com. And when you get there, you just get here and they have multiple products. I've done videos on tons of these, all great stuff and just super easy to use. It's the best thing about these these uh, amp knobs. It's one knob, very little guesswork. Should be able to just rip it. All right, so let's go to check out. There it is, it's downloading. Let's launch this puppy. And what's awesome about these plugins too is that they come with a tuner, they come with a metronome, and you can record. I'll show you all that stuff. Installation successful. Super cheap, super easy to use. You don't need a DAW or anything like that because it comes with a standalone version, meaning you can just use it on its own. So I'm assuming it's gonna be in applications under Bogren Digital, there it is. Amp knob three, boom. Start trial, let's rock, here we go. Oh, okay, we need to, next step is it doesn't know that we're using the volt yet. So I'm gonna to go to settings. Okay, input, volt, yep. Output, volt, good. Input channel, one, good, good. Sample rate, you don't need to mess with any of this stuff, just leave it as is. We are getting signal from it, good. Feedback tech, we're gonna mute off. Check it out. All right, we're in business. So. Simple as that. Got the interface, loaded it up in about two minutes, downloaded this plugin for free, and here we go. I'll show you a couple things about this about this plugin here. There's this pedal, it's like an overdrive. sure at this point right now if my screen recording is capturing this distortion so I'm going to attempt to find out okay so now I've got it where you should be able to hear the amp through my screen recording here and hear it like I'm here so cool let's take a look at a little bit about this amp I was talking about how it's like kind of a overdrive pedal here Tightens up that low end a little bit there. Obviously a gain. I think it sounds best cranked. So yeah, I like a lot there. Okay, so what's cool is, um, so we can record metronome, tuner, you can load your own impulse responses if you're interested in that, if you even know what that is right now. I've never done anything like that, so I'm not gonna demonstrate that. Tuner, pretty cool, you can mute it if you like. So it's still tuning. Good. Um, the uh, metronome, super cool for learning to play to a click. So right now it's default set at 120. alter this in any way you want, make it faster, change how things feel and sound. Let's go faster, what the heck. So, awesome. Let's go back, uh, 
know, maybe 150, let's see. And then um, in case we want that in a sec, and then we can record. And it's as simple as this. I'm gonna hit record and it starts recording. <laughs> stop and can name it let's just save it and then when we go into this folder here boom it's in riff ideas so it's already there let's hear it so this is incredible for just getting better and you can write and record over your stuff let's put on the click here record a little something I'm going to save that, turn this guy off, and then let's go to our folder and hear that. Now just play over it if you want to learn to do rhythms and leads. So yeah. I could have recorded that as well and then put the two of them together. But like, you know, if you're just trying to practice some stuff, play some Metallica rhythms and then play some little leads over it. So just a really cool, simple, easy to use uh, amp sim here. And you saw how easy all that was to get together. Right now with these amp knobs or anything on the Bogren Digital site, there's a link in the description. Hit that right away. Use coupon code Rob Arnold for 10% off or just do the trial. Just do it for free. See if you like it. No obligations. It just stops working after 14 days. And then you have to decide whether you want to buy it. So you, again, you can buy them individually um, or uh, get the three pack. And there's another one in there called the Reb C. There's bass stuff. There's drum stuff. So all really cool. Anything you purchase, you can use code Rob Arnold to save yourself some money there. And uh, I'd appreciate that. Also, with the Volt 2, highly recommended. Look how easy that was. And we got up and going and this thing sounds great and is gonna be awesome. Got a Sweetwater link in the description below that if you use my link, it really helps me out. You can't go wrong no matter what, Volt 1, Volt 2. There's even bigger options if you want, but I wanted to keep it as absolutely simple as possible. So definitely recommend it. Um, check out those interface buying guides below too. If maybe universal audio isn't your thing, maybe you've heard of, you know, Focusrite or Mo2 or whatever, they'll lead you to all the best ones in this price range and beyond whatever you're comfortable with. I recommend starting small. And then if you decide you want more later, you need more inputs or for whatever, whatever the case, you can always upgrade. So I always recommend just getting in, just getting started. Hopefully with this guide, you can be up and running in 15 minutes um, if you follow all that I did there. Um, and then what to do. You've got this guitar sound and all that. I recommend checking out my new jam bundles that I just released, which are folders that you can download containing tablature, backing tracks, reference video, guitar profiles, all that stuff for a bunch of songs that I've been writing in a lot of my recent videos. You can hear audio examples of that. Just go to robarnoldworld.com slash store. Click on my jam bundles, only 25 bucks for all five of them right now. It's a load of content, keep you busy for hours. I guarantee you'll appreciate that. I've also got a metal guitar instructional DVD right now shipping with 10 of my custom guitar picks, all sorts of different designs. See those there. You can learn about those and see all the pics as well at robarnworld.com slash store. And also got a wonderful Patreon community. I'd love for you to jump in, get involved with us and help support the channel. It's such a big help to me. Helps me do all this stuff. It's the only way I'm, I'm able to do all this stuff. So check that out. Patreon.com slash robarnworld. Early looks at my videos, behind the scenes content. Um, your name mentioned in the, in the videos, uh, a special thanks section. Uh, it's just all, sort of, all sorts of cool stuff, cool community vibe there. Everybody's chatting, messaging priority, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you check that out. Check out everything in the description below that I got there for you. And uh, yeah, I really hope that um, this was helpful for you again. And um, thank you to Sweetwater for all everything they do. Like I said, the, the, custom, the uh, shipping time was super quick. The customer service is fantastic. My rep over there is amazing. Always takes care of me. And uh, but yeah, I mean, I just bought this thing, like I said. So 
It's not, not uh, they didn't send it to me, you know, for, so there's no bias or anything. I just chose one and bought it because I wanted this video to be just like this, exactly like I said. So appreciate you watching. If you dug this stuff, I got a lot more in my um, recording and audio production tutorial playlist, which will also be linked for you below there. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. If you've been a long time rider with me, appreciate you. Or if you're brand new to the channel and you just subscribe, welcome aboard. There's tons of cool stuff here. I'm Rob Arnold. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you all again in the next one. Got any questions, anything like that? Leave a comment below. Cheers.